Hi and welcome to Northants War Games on the Road. My name's Barry and today we're at Fanboy 3 in Manchester for a semi-final matchup in the UK City Championship for Age of Sigmar Champions. It's between George Roger on the left playing Grotz and Dominic Elston on the right playing Mordant Quick Quest. Factions making it through to the semi-finals are Death with two Mordant Quick Quest, a Grot deck for Destruction and Roticus Rainfather for Chaos. So George Roger defeated Adam Binns in his top eight match and Dominic Elston defeated Chris Richards in his. Okay, so for George we have Cunning Grot Shaman, a Glare Face Scaremonger, Rip Tooth Megaboss and a second Glare Face Scaremonger. And for Dominic we have two Monstrous Haunter Courtiers and two Crypt Haunter Courtiers. So we've seen Dominic's deck quite a bit, but this Grot deck was um, new at the time. It came out in Manchester, no sorry, it came out in Middlesbrough. So we have a Flock of Doom coming out and a Trampling Grunter. So the Flock of Doom will gain extra damage because of that Trampling Grunter next to it. So normally it would be five damage, it would be six. So it's whether or not Dom can do something about it, either remove the Flock of Doom or get rid of the Trampling Grunter. So now he's going to draw. So six damage from Flock of Doom, two damage from Trampling Grunter. So good start there for George. Draws two cards, Dominic's go. So he's got seven cards, so he should have something in his hand by now. So once um, Dominic starts going, like I said, it's more than quick quest, so we're going to see um, quite a few blessings come out. Okay, so Feasting Vargas goes in one health, but oh no, it's no health because it goes in dormant, sorry. So I don't know why he's put it in there. Would have thought he would have um, put it on the other Crypt Haunter Courtier to get that spinning quick. And then draws a card, so George's go. Another two damage from that Trampling Grunter. And that Feast in Vargeist is still dormant. So we have a Pouncing Wolf Friday going in. First quest done on Riptooth Megabus. And draws a card. Dom's go. So Feast in Vargeist will do nothing. So we'll be, um, we'll be active next turn. So we have a Feaster of Souls going in. So Pouncing Wolf Rider goes back into his hand, back into George's hand, and he gains two health. And then he's going to follow up with Thorns of the Briar Queen, two damage. So the, both the Glare Face Scaremongers and the Rip Tooth and now can't quest because of that Thorns of the Briar Queen's in play. So George is just checking hand size. And we have Putri Preak going in. And Deadly Chop. So Deadly Chop's going to get rid of that Feast in Vargas, do one damage. So the Putri Pug's going in there. Normally it's three, it'll be four, unless Dom can um, put a unit on that Krypton to Courtier at the top. So Thorns of the Briar Queen's done three damage to George. So. Dom really has to put a um, unit onto this Krypton to Courtier. There we go. So two damage from Verzerus Vargeist. And draws a card. So Putrus Puke is three damage. So he's going to try his luck with that Pouncing Wolf Rider again. And draws a card. So Dom's go. So Thorns of the Briar Queen is going. It's now in the bin, so a nice target for Viganet Chris. Two damage from that Murgus Vargeist. Feast of Souls goes into play, puts that Pouncing Wolf Rider back in George's hand and gains two health. Doesn't want that Wolf Rider out at all to give um, George extractions, an extra card draw. So normally George will be playing, um, instead of Cunning Grot, he will be playing with um, Scrag Grot the Loon King. 
but against Morden Quick Quest, you don't really want to play Scragrot because they're going to have um, the Royal Hunt as a quest. So Scrabbling Horror comes out, we see our first quest, it is the Royal Hunt. So only one damage from the Scrabbling Horror. That's a, that's a wasted quest for Dom really. So Trampling Grunter goes in, so we're going to see that Scrabbling Horror potentially be dormant next turn. draws a card so it's Dom's go everything's going to rotate one from the Scrabbling Horror one from the Murderous Vargeist Fearsome Crypt Flayer goes into play nothing yet from that so George's go two damage from Trampling Grunters so that Scrabbling Horror in front of it is now dormant so Whirling Death does three damage, goes back to his hand because Dom has um, three units out. Brute Smash is going to play, two damage. So all is even. Two damage from those Fearsome Crypt Flayers. He's nearly round there for quest wise for that third um, champion, the uh, Crypt Haunter Courtier. Feasting Vargeist goes in. Gets a health. Second quest done on that Crypt Horror Courtier, or Crypt Haunter Courtier, I should say, on lane four. So everything spins. Trampling Grunter deals two. Brute Smashes deal two. Whirling Death again. Three damage. So whilst Dom has those three units out, we're going to see Whirling Death come out a fair bit. Well, every turn, really. So, Pouncing Wolf Rider again. When we see uh, Anrahir's Claw for two damage. So, is um, is Dom going to allow George to have the uh, Pouncing Wolf Rider this time? So, we have uh, three damage in total going to George. One from the Scrabbling Horror and two from the Fearsome Crypt Flayer. That Pouncing Wolf Rider is dormant at the minute because of the Fearsome Crypt Flayer. So we've got a Scrabbling Horror going into play. One damage. Passes and draws. George's go. So that Pouncing Wolf Rider should not have turned because of Fearsome Crypt Flayer. So three damage from that Anri Here's Claw. Shouldn't have done damage from that Pouncing Wolf Rider. George has got three actions at the minute and Dominic hasn't realised because Splat's going into play. So because Splat's going into play, George has made a mistake and, and, and uh, Dom rightly has not allowed him to take it back so three damage one damage from the last stand ability from the glare face scaremonger and he draws a card So made a bit of a boo-boo there. Had an extra action when he shouldn't have done. See, this is where you should really play with tokens when things are dormant. So you have got a visual indicator. So he shouldn't have drawn two cards. He should have drawn one. Mon two monstrous haunter courtiers go off doing two damage. And then heals for two with the crypt haunter courtiers. Everything spins. So one damage with the Scrabbling Horror here, three damage from the next, and draw two cards with the Feast in Vargeist. So it's very close, both players are on six health. So another fearsome crit flare going into play and we have supernatural horror so that brute smash is now dormant. So 
So George is kicking himself a bit because that that uh, Kasplat he played, if he'd have played his other card first, he would have had lethal and finished Dom off. So that Brute Smasher does not leave play because he is dormant. But we got three damage from Anrahe's Claw. As George got a Kasplat in his hand to finish um to finish Dom off. He must have discarded that Whirling Death earlier with that Kasplat play, because otherwise he'd have played that and finished it off. So we have Grot Slasher going into play. It is dormant, so it does nothing. So two damage from the Monstrous Horn to Courtiers. Two health back from Crypt Horn to Courtiers. Everything rotates. Lethal damage to George. So Dom wins game one. Well done, Dom. So can George pull it back? So Dom is going to um, swap out his Royal Hunt for something else. And we have Glareface Scaremonger, Cunning Grot Shaman, Riptooth Megaboss, and a Glareface Scaremonger. And for Dom, we have two Monstrous Haunter Courtiers and two Crypt Haunter Courtiers. So George has decided to go first. We have Pouncing Wolf Rider going into play. Will Dom play a Feaster of Souls to put it back in his hand? He certainly didn't like those Pouncing Wolf Riders last game. Dom opens up with the Frightful Strike, 3 damage. George has to put one card back in his deck because that Monstrous Horn to Courtier is more points than that Glare Face Scaremonger. And the Glare, Sca Glare Face Scaremonger is disengaged. And follows up with a fearsome crypt flyer. So stopping really that glare face scaremonger in lane four. One damage from the pouncing wolf rider. Three actions for George. So we have two damage from the brute smasher. First um First quest done on that glare face game monger, then George draws two. Two damage from that fearsome crypt flower. Second quest done on that monstrous horn to courtier in lane one for Dom. Dom draws two cards. George's go. So two damage from the brute smashers, nothing from the pouncing wolf rider. Uh, George has just spun that Riptooth Megaboss round because he did damage last turn, but he did miss the trigger. Kasplat on that Brute Smasher. So three damage. He's going to remove that Brute Smasher. So he is going to uh, do one last hand damage from the Glareface Scaremonger. So he gets to do two quests, one from Kasplat and one from the damage from the Glareface. So he's down to one quest left. Gets rid of the Grunter, draws a card. Did he draw a Grot? To complete the quest on that glare face scaremonger. Whirling death, three damage, goes to the discard pile. Two damage from the fearsome crypt flyers. So, Figure Neck Chris is going to discard a unit. So, discarded a Bat Swarm, does one damage. Spins again, does another damage. It's going to reduce um, damage in um, for the Riptooth Megaboss. So, he's denying George that last quest on the Riptooth from that Pouncing Wolf Rider. So, still gets the, um, still gets the additional action. So, Mystic Shield going out on the Cunning Grot Shaman. And then George draws two cards. So, Fierce and Crit Flares go. Batsorm spins, no damage. Pinks off that Mystic Shield. We 
have a feast in Vargas going into play. He's going to heal for one. Second quest done on that Crypt Haunt Courtier. So Mystic Shield spins. He's only going to reduce one damage next time. So we've got Moonman Stabbers. Let's see what's under there. It is Might of Gork. Three damage. And we have a Trampling Grunter going into play. So next turn, we may see the Riptooth Megaboss Blessing. So talking of Mystic Shields, George is co-host with Mike and Steve. And they have a brand new podcast called Mystic Shield. And it's dedicated to the Age of Sigmar Champions. You can find them on Podbean and Facebook. So go and give episode one a listen. And I'll leave the links to this in the show notes below. Okay, so Dom hasn't got much left to do for quest-wise for his monstrous haunted courtiers. Is he going to see what is under there? Yes, he is. The Scrabbling Horror. What do we get? We get Orb of Immortality and does one damage with that Scrabbling Horror. So he's just made George's job a little bit harder. So it just means those monstrous haunted courtiers and crypt haunters are going to be doing their abilities a couple of turns longer. So everything rotates, two damage from the Moon Mad Stabbers, two damage from the Trampling Grunters, three damage from Might of Gork, and we have Torbar's Ride for another two damage, and it's going to reduce ability damage as well. Then we've got Flock of Doom going in, so that's going to be nice, it's extra damage because of the Trampling Grunter next to it next turn. So we've got one damage from Scrabbling Horrors and two cards from the Feast in Vargeist, three damage from Frightful Strike. No cards given away by George this time because his champion is engaged. And I think Riptooth Mega Boss is equal or more points than the uh, Monstrous Haunted Courtier. So Tyler's Crypt Flare goes in and Supernatural Horror comes out. So Trampling Grunt is going to stay in. Moon Mad Stabbers are going to stay in. So Might of Gork, three damage. Tor by its ride, three damage. Flock of Doom, six damage. One damage left. For Dom. So Deadly Chop. Scrabbling Horror leaves play. He does one damage. Which is going to trigger the Orb of Immortality. So he's going to gain four health. So he's back up to five. <laughs> that was a good play by George. But he's got no cards left in his hand. Draws one card. So two damage from Monstrous Horn to Courtiers. And heals one from the Crypt Horn to Courtier. Two damage from that Tireless Crypt Flayer. So, Dom is having to think about things. He's only got three damage coming his way next turn because all those units are dormant. So, Thorns of the Briar Queen comes out, two damage. Those champions can't quest that are in front of it and either side of it for George. And then we've got Feaster of Souls, Hills for two. Torbad's ride, three damage, back down to five. So Dom's champions are active again. Can he finish the game off? So is it draw? Looks like it. Draw two cards. Okay, Dom, last turn on the Supernatural Horror. Six damage, three from the Tyler's Crypt Flayer, three from Thorns of the Briar Queen. George is on five, and Dom forgot Monstrous, um, the triggers on his champions. So he didn't let George take back the Kasplat earlier, and George is not going to let him do the triggers on his champions. So you've got to keep your nerve, got to remember all your triggers when you're in the top eight matches. Nerve sometimes can get the better of you. Well, someone made me miss a lethal 
So we have a murderous Fargeist going in. Two damage and Dom draws. So Torbad's ride goes. Everything else is still dormant for George. But he has three cards in his hand. So this is the last turn for units being dormant. So we've got three damage from Kasplat. Removes Trampling Grunter. Discards a card. And draws Mosh Pit. Three damage. George takes game two. So Grotz are back in the game. So it's all to be decided on game three. And here we go. Glareface Scaremonger. Cunning Grot Shaman. Glareface Scaremonger and a Riptooth Mega Boss. And for Dom we have two monstrous Haunter Courtiers and two Crypt Haunter Courtiers. Dom is going first. Okay, so starts the game with a Frightful Strike, three damage. George has to put one card back into his deck. And then Dom draws a card. So George's go. He comes out with the Trampling Grunter. First quest done on that glare face. Scaremonger draws a card back over to Dom. Dom passes twice. So we've got that Trampling Grunter doing two damage. And then follows up with Flock of Doom. So that's going to do extra damage because of a beast card next to it. So it is Dom's go. He's having to think about things. Looks like he's got another Frightful Strike in his hand there. And then we have a feast in Vargeist, going to health back. And then passes, George's go. So Flock of Doom normally does five, but because it's got a beast there, it does six. And then two damage from that trampling grunter. And then Pouncing Wolf Rider goes into play. First quest done on Riptooth Megaboss. Feast in Vargeist is going to spin round. One health back. Second quest done on that Crypt Haunter Courtier. So Dom's rattling through the quest just as quick as George. Another quest done as a Feast in Vargeist goes into play. One health back. So generally both players don't play a card unless they can um, get a quest done. Very efficient in their actions. So still Dom's go. Will he pass or will he play? Looks like he's playing. A fearsome crit flare goes in. Doesn't do any... Well, it was dormant. It's not dormant now. So one damage from Pouncing Wolf Rider. Second quest done on Riptooth Megaboss. We have a Trampling Grunter going into play. And a Zar Bags Git. So those fearsome crit flares are now dormant. And Yeah. So, a player on the side has just told George that he should have triggered the quest on that Scareface Glaremonger. So, if you're participating, oh sorry, if you're spectating, it is, you are not your place to say anything. Um, it is up to the judge. You can have a quiet word with the judge about a action that's been played. But, um, it is up to the player to remember triggers. Um, triggering quest is not mandatory. So Dom's go. George has just reminded Dom that the Zar bag gets keeps those crit flares dormant. So two cards back from the uh, Feast in Vargeist and one health back from the second one. And the second quest completed for the lane four champion, which is that Crypt Haunter Courtier. So Dom's champions are just rotating around really nicely. Once that fearsome crit flare is no longer dormant, he's going to trigger that third quest on his champion on lane two. So 
So, Frightful Strike, three damage. Third quest done for champion number three. passes so it's George's go so two damage from the trampling grunter and two damage three damage sorry from Azar bags gits we've got a kasplat going in for another three damage so removes that Azar bag gits last stand from glareface scaremonger will deal one extra damage and then he's going to draw a card from kasplat that scaremonger rotates so has he got a grot? Yes, he has. Moon Mad Stabbers goes in. Let's see what he's got. He has Anrahir's Claw. Two damage. Well, those Moon Mad Stabbers are going to be dormant next turn. So a nice little trickle of events there. Two damage from those fearsome Crypt Flayers. Those feasting Vargeis does nothing. One quest left to go for champion number two, the monstrous Haunted Courtier. So those glare face scaremongers, you get the right cards, they are going to rattle round really quickly. I mean, you can complete three quests in one turn on that glare face scaremonger. Layer unit, Kasplat, last stand damage. Really, really fast. So Dom's entered the think tank. He's got a few champions that are poised to um, unleash their quests. He's decided to pass. So everything rotates. And we're here, Claw, three damage. Trampling Grunter, two damage. One damage from the Pouncing Wolf Rider. Three actions for George and he's passed them all and drawn three cards. So, Dom's go. Two damage from the Fearsome Crypt Flower. The Feast in Vargeist at the moment is dormant. But he answers with a Scrabbling Horror. Let's see what he's got. He's got a Supernatural Horror. So, everything on George's side is now dormant. Everything on Dom's side is now active. So we're probably going to see a second quest from Dom next turn as this fearsome crypt horror leaves play. <laughs> He's decided to draw two cards. Three damage from Anrahir's Claw. That's the only thing. So Dom is now down to eight. George just draws two cards. Didn't look good. He put his hand to his cards. He didn't, hasn't got anything he wanted. So Scrabbling Horror does one damage. And two cards from the Feast in Vargeist. Dom's got a nice stack of cards in his hand. Plenty of options. Is he going to unleash this quest on that second monstrous Haunter Courtier? Okay, so we have a Ravenous Crypt Call going into play. And we see Bonds of Death. So, uh, in three, two more turns, we are going to get four damage from Bonds of Death, and that is increased for every unit in his discard pile, up to 14 damage. Follows up with Frightful Strike, three damage. So, Anrahir's Claw is finished. It's George's go. Supernatural Horror is still in effect. So, draws two cards. If it had had a spell, it had probably laid it. Dom's go. Everything rotates. One damage from Ravenous Crypt Ghoul. Three damage from the Scrabbling Horror. Bonds of Death will go next turn. So George is just checking how many uh, units are in his discard. Three units are in Dom's discard. So Bonds of Death at the minute is doing seven. So Dom is doing Fuel the Grave Tide. So he's going to get rid of that Moon Mad Stabber. And he's going to put three more units into his Giscard pile. So that will put him up to seven units 
in there. No, put him up to six units in the discard prop. Sorry. So getting ready for Bonds of Death, filling up his discard, which is fine because he'll get his units back with Vigor Necris later on. So Barrow's Will. So he's put five units, five cards have gone into that discard pile this turn. So he's got three units he discarded with Fuel the Grave Tide. Fuel the Grave Tide itself and one of the Feast in Vargeist. So he's going to heal for six. So really good combo there with Fuel the Grave Tide. So George is now checking again how many cards in the discard. Six units in the discard pile. So it's going to do 10 damage now. Bonds of death next turn. So that will be lethal for George. As it stands. So George is in a bit of a pickle. This supernatural horror is um, being a pain. So Moon Mad Stabbers go in. So he's getting ready um, for when supernatural horror expires. So checking Dom's hand size. He's got six. So both players have got a healthy amount. I doubt George has got Brutal Smash in his hand. Um, which was normally a tell in Wave 1 when you were checking people's hand size. And Scatter the Forces is not really a card in the meta yet. So we have Deadly Chop gets rid of that Ravenous Crypt Ghoul. Don't see it very often. And we're not seeing it now. So one damage from Deadly Chop. So it's Dom's go. So, no one's dormant anymore. Ten, so that should be 11 damage from Bonds of Death now. But George doesn't care because he's got Cunning Grot Shaman. He can discard, he can remove a card and then he will ignore all that damage. And then the Glareface Scaremonger will deal one from its last stand. So <laughs> cunning Grot Shaman, cunning indeed. The Dom is probably the annoying Grot Shaman. So Dom follows up with Scrabble in Horror. We get Cursed Altar. So now those units have um, all active again for George. They're not going to deal any damage to Dom because he's got Cursed Altar in play. He can ignore four lots of damage coming his way. So George has still got another target for that Cunning Grot Shaman. We've got a Vigor Necris going into play. We have Thorns of the Briar Queen going in for five damage. Puts George on three. Moon Mad Stabbers does two. Cursed Altar was supposed to trigger there. Because it um, negates three damage. Then we've got Brute Smashes going in for another two. Which he should have, he should have been negated by Cursed Altar. So Dom's remembered it now. Cursed Altar. So he's putting, he's putting two damage back from the Brute Smasher, but he missed the trigger on the Moon Mad Stabber. So he's not going back two actions. So he's doing all right, though. He's got lots of damage prevention. We have a Putrid Puke going out. So... Would do more damage when that Scrabbling Horror leaves play. There we go. So there's nothing in front of that Putrid Puke. Dom has to lay something in front of it, really. So one damage from that Scrabbling Horror puts George down onto two. So if Dom plays anything, that Cunning Grot Shaman will trigger again. So 
So can Dom finish George off? He's got two targets for the Cunning Grot Shaman there. So Viganet Chris goes in. So Cunning Grot Shaman can't um, protect this lane. We've got Thorns of the Briar Queen going in. Five damage. That does it. Dom goes through to the final. So congratulations to Dom. We will be watching Rotigus versus another Mordant Quick Quest in semi-final number two coming soon. So like, subscribe, leave a comment and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.